Hey guys, welcome to the second to last video of the year. And you know, this is going to be my top 10 favorite games I played in 2015. Now, this list, you know, some of you might find it a little bit unbelievable, you know, what's on the list and where it is and all that. And let me just tell you. This isn't, this isn't based on the games I like the most that I played this year. It's based on how fun the series was this year. So. I mean, you know. Yeah. So, let's get to number 10. Number 10, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, a reason for this is because... I mean, you guys really, really, really love the series... And, um, you know, it got a lot of good hype, and you know? it was definitely fun playing this game. There will be more, um, uh, episodes of this. It's just that I really, I didn't really have a chance to do more episodes of, uh, this, so. But you, you guys don't have to worry. In the future, there will be more episodes. Um, yeah. But it was definitely a good series. I really enjoyed, uh. You know, shooting people and taking them out. And I feel like I did a pretty good job on this game too, so. You know. On to number 9. Number 9, The Escapists. And the reason for that is... Well, you you guys definitely love this game. And if it wasn't for you guys, there definitely would not been a Season 2. Season 2 was never meant to happen. But, you know, when we went to Iron Gate, it was pretty good. Um, I definitely enjoyed the series. I love... I love how simple it is. It's definitely a really, really simple game. But, um... You know, I'm excited. I'm just excited to do all the next episodes and all that. Um... You know, once you get into this game, it's really, really hard to get out of. Because... You have to do... Well, you gotta just get out of this prison. And, you know, it always takes such a long time to do that. But it's a really, really fun series to do with you guys, and all the support on it's been great, so. Moving on to number 8. Number 8 is H1Z1, which might come as a surprise to you guys. But I actually, I actually thought this series was really, really good, and I enjoyed it a lot. I did, I did, however, stop a one episode short, because we have a lot of series going on. So, I know that's sad, and you guys won't get that one more episode. But I really, really like this series. I definitely liked it more than DayZ. Yes, there's still going to be more episodes of DayZ. Stay tuned for that. 2016. There's going to be more episodes of DayZ. But, um... My H1Z1 was really, really fun. I liked it a lot more than DayZ. It was more realistic, in my opinion. Yeah, I loved, uh... I loved zombies. The zombies looked pretty cool. Man, I just love the physics of the game. Um, that was a really cool zombie game. You know, it felt it felt really realistic. Um, you know, once you just once you just set yourself in the game, it was it was really realistic. So, okay, number seven. Now, this should not come as a surprise that Agario would make it on here. Agario has been a really really nice game. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Agario, um, you know, Agario making this list, that's a really, really cool thing. Um, this, this could make the list next year. So, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and The Escapists, those could both make the list next year. Also, this could make the list next year, but H1Z1 can't because H1Z1 is over. Um, yeah, that's, it's sad, but you know, yeah. Definitely, Agario will be, um... Agario will be going on next year, still. Yeah, 2016. Tomorrow starts 2016. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely like Agario. You know, there's there's a lot of possibilities in the game. You know, like challenges you can do and all that. I've never really made it on the leaderboard except that one episode. But, um, you guys expect me to make it onto that leaderboard at least one more time. Okay, now the series that started my channel, which I told you a friend is the reason why I played this game. Happy Wheels. Now, Happy Wheels this year 
has been pretty fun. Last year, Happy Wheels would have probably came in 10th if I did this. No, no, I just did an update on the 34th, 1st. First, I never even, uh, thought about, you know, doing, doing something like this, but yeah. Last year, Happy Wheels would have come in 10th because Happy Wheels wasn't as fun last year as it is this year. This year, I've gone somewhere in Happy Wheels. I've done a lot in Happy Wheels. And, you know, like, there's the videos up to show it. Happy Wheels this year has, it's been really, really good. I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, there's a lot of good levels. Um, people are starting to get better at making the levels. So that's good. And if there's just a lot of good creators in making levels, then that should really just set us up for the whole entire uh, rest of the series, which is going to be like 20 more episodes. The thing is, I really don't want to end the series next year, so I don't know. Uh, like Maybe like one episode a month might be what I do. I don't know. Okay, now moving on to number five. Number five, WWE 2K15. Now, this this could have made it higher, but the reason it didn't really make it higher is because WWE 2K15, uh, it had it had a bad roster. And I think we all got to admit that it had a bad roster. Plus, I had a um, PlayStation 3, and if I didn't have a PlayStation 3, this probably would have been number four. But um, well, PlayStation 4 was even more lacking. It's that PlayStation 3 has the awesome creator thing. Which I have for WWE 2K16, which I mentioned in my last two videos. Yes, I now have, and I also now have Star Wars Battlefront. That's going to be pretty cool. Expect um, both of those to be on the channel really soon. Um, but yeah, WWE 2K15 had some really, really, really good matches, and um, I beat a lot of really, really good people. You know, that Sheamus and Roman Reigns match it really good. Um, my first match on WWE 2K15 was Dolph Ziggler vs. Sin Cara, and it's insane how many views that got. You know, and also I had a match with Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Kevin Owens vs. Big Show, Bad News Barrett, and Seth Rollins. Now that's insane, that got over like a thousand views. And you know, I thank all you guys for watching that one, that was really, really good. But, you know, you guys definitely love the WWE 2K15 series this year. It was really, really good for you guys. And I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite. Okay, number four. Number four would be Subnautica. I really, really enjoyed this series. Um, you know, there's a lot to say about it. I did, but I'm really good at the game. I've done a lot. And, well, what I know now is, okay... I'm ending it. This series is definitely going to be ending next year. So how am I going to make sure this series stays on this? Because, you know, definitely it would be cool if this series would, like, stay on top 10 favorite games I played. Because top 10 favorites I played 2016 will be exactly a year from today. Not that you guys got to I'm not wasting a year for you guys. I'm just telling you. This could be on it. But it's, that doesn't mean it will. It just could be. Yeah, so Subnautica was a really, really good game for me. Um, I just love, like, the creatures and everything. The Reaper Leviathan is just scary. It's just awesome. Yeah, I love really, I really love really the setting of the game. You know, you're on a weird alien planet and it's just all water. And that's really cool to me and has high appeal. So, that's why I made the list. Okay, number three. Now, I didn't play this on the channel much. But I'm just gonna say, when I did play this on the channel... It's a pretty good. I've done three videos in total on it. I did uh, that triple threat match. I did uh, so wait. I did a triple threat match. I did uh, John Cena versus Daniel Bryan, and I did the WWE 2K16 live stream. So um, yeah, first live stream ever. It was of this game right here, and let me tell you, that one amazing. Um, if it wasn't for that, I probably would have switched, uh, 15 and 16 if that live stream never happened. But, um, yeah, definitely 16 is just awesome. Ever since I got the game, I've been playing it a lot. And 16 definitely is better than 13, 14, and 15. Um, I, I wouldn't say combined, but, um, yeah. 
The only thing better about 14 really is it had that story mode. The only thing better about 13 was it had like a... Uh, create your own entrance video. You can make a custom superstar and have them in the entrance video. That was literally the only good thing about 13. I wish they'd incorporate that in uh if they have that in 17 and they have the story maker thing in 17 and just, and they just keep 16 like it is get it to like more got like different roster, you know. And then um I think it would really have high appeal. Well, who am I kidding? It would definitely have much higher appeal. Everybody would be going out for this game and liking it a lot more if they had that. So anyway, now on a game I've not played in a long time. Okay, number two and number one. These games are not going to make much sense because, you know, it's going to be really hard to remember number two. And number one, I've not played much at all on this channel. I'm mean, saying with 16, but i played uh, number one less. So yeah, that might give you a clue of what it is. Okay, number two. Goat Simulator. I loved playing Goat Simulator this year. I just absolutely loved it. Um, definitely a really, really fun game. Um, really, it's just a free-for-all, you know? I love just games where you can just destroy whatever you want. And I did destroy whatever I wanted. And I did whatever I wanted. I made a game my game. Uh, I, I walked around and tried to, you know, do things I found out. I watched YouTube videos to try to find out possible, uh, ways to, um... Yeah, I looked on YouTube videos, and I looked on possible ways to make the series better, but by, you know, me looking around for stuff. Like, if you see in this picture right here, or it's inside the goat tower, this is a fortress, and I watched a, a YouTube video to find out where to find this. And I did find it, and I'm very, very lucky that I found it. And I took this snapshot of it when I was in it, and I just put the goat simulator thing over it. So, yeah, pretty cool experience. But, yeah, this game had a lot of really, really cool experiences. And everybody who's played this game has definitely liked it. So. Okay, on to number one. Before we get to number one, I gotta say one thing first. So, I did... I played a lot of games this year. You know, Super Saiyan Kicker 2, I Am Bread. You know, there's a lot of games. But, um... You know, like, uh... Tomodachi Life, that was a that was a good game. Um, I don't know when the next episode is going to be. I don't know if there's going to be a next episode. I'm pretty sure that we're just done, really, at this point. But I'm not quite sure yet. So... Yeah, I'm not quite sure yet. But we might be done. We might not be done. I don't really know. Um... Yeah. But I Am Bread was definitely a good series. You guys loved I Am Bread. And it still kind of continues because they got all this DLC and stuff. So, I, don't, I mean, I, I really don't know personally. But. Now, I never did play Star Wars yet. And I don't know when I will. And that's I, that's some I Am Bread stuff. Star Wars. Like, everybody's wondering why I have been not played it yet. I'm like, I don't know why I haven't played it yet. Um. Yeah. Definitely, Star Wars Battlefront is going to be starting next year. That's going to be cool. Now, I'm just going to warn you, I'm horrible at Battlefront. I don't know why I'm so bad at Battlefront. I just am. Okay. Now, move on to number one. I only played this game twice on the channel. And I had a lot of fun doing it. But now we're on number one. Number one is Super Mario Maker. Now, the reason for this is, I did, uh... Some really, really good videos with Fun Size, Star Pay, K and K Gatsby Productions. Um, you know, they made this series very, very enjoyable. And there, there's only been two episodes so far. But uh, definitely, I love this game. Okay? I love this game. And both of them made this series very, very hilarious. And it made some of the best content I've ever made. Definitely, definitely, uh, there will be more episodes in the future. I mean, obviously, there's going to be more episodes in the future. It's just that, you know, at at this point, you know, there's only really so much I can do at this point. So. But definitely, uh, I'll be looking, you know, looking to get this game farther in the future. So, anyway, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. So make sure to leave a like. And this is my uh, top 10 favorite games that I played. 
in 2015. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of games I played this year. Like Rocket League was in there, NASCAR 14 was in there, uh, NHL 15 was in there, um, NHL 14. Yeah, NHL 14 was in there. First video of the year was of 20, first video of 2015 was NHL 14, and it was uh, the Winter Classic. Which, by the way, I'm doing the Winter Classic tomorrow, January 1st, and you know that should be awesome. But hey, I made it through the whole entire year. All I gotta do is just survive the last thousands of hours that there is today there's not actually thousands of hours because if there was i think the whole entire planet would be doomed so anyway thanks for watching because it should be like and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys by the way the next video is